Hello, my friend. Welcome to your sleep story. My name is Stephen Dalton. I'm an Irish storyteller, and it's my great privilege to be the voice that you listen to as you go to sleep tonight. In tonight's sleep story, I will be taking you on one of the great journeys that any animal on planet Earth takes the journey of the swallow from the northern hemisphere to the southern hemisphere. A little animal that covers over 6,000 miles. So tonight I present to you a new series, the Migration Series, and we will follow one particular little swallow who is on her first migration. I really hope you like the story. Okay, let's do the relaxation session first, which will take a few minutes before tonight's sleep story. I'm going to count down from 10 to 1, and as I do, allow yourself to let go more and more. 10. Feel the support beneath you, the bed, or the floor, or the earth beneath that. Feel the solidity, the constantness of the earth. Our home, our home that supports us, see if that awareness allows you to let go a little more, to release a little more. To soften a little more. Nine. You are safe. Everything is okay. Allow my voice to be an anchor of safety tonight, a voice of kindness, a voice of healing, a voice that will only ever bring you to safe places. The day is done. Whatever has been, has been. Whatever will be, will be. Whatever thoughts you might have about the day that just was, Whatever thoughts you might have about what is to come, they don't serve you now. So if they arrive, just see them, notice them for what they are. And let them leave you without judgment. Let them float away like leaves on a river. Or clouds passing by a starlit sky. Six. 
seven. See if you can feel that peace that lives within you. It's there. It's always there. Just waiting to be seen. Waiting to be felt. Allow that fact to be a source of comfort. Six. You have nowhere to go. Nowhere to be. This is a time for rest. You deserve rest. We all do. So allow the knowledge of that. The awareness of that. To help you soften a little more. To let go a little more. Five. Perhaps allow a little gratitude now. For the simple things. For the shelter you find yourself in tonight. For the ability to listen this story. For your breath. For those you love. For This is your moment. This is your time. Breathe in this moment. Breathe in calm. And breathe out anything that doesn't serve you now. Three. Begin to engage with your imagination now. Begin to see a little bird. A little swallow perched on a tree in a forest in Ireland, surrounded by lots of other little swallows on a crisp autumn morning. Two. Check in with your body. Release anywhere that you might be holding. Whether it be in your feet, in your face, in your belly. 
Allow that release to happen. One. Completely letting go now. As I tell you. Tonight's sleep story. The swallow looks around. Something within it knows that now is the time. Not only this swallow, but all of the swallows that are there. For in this flock, there are tens of thousands of them. And a flock can sometimes number up to three million all together in County Wexford, Ireland. They all know that the adventure is about to begin. They are gathered under the soft glow of the early morning sun and they are preparing for a journey of a monumental scale one of the great journeys of earth in fact humans didn't fully understand this journey until the year 1912, when tags were attached to swallows in the British Isles, and those same swallows arrived in South Africa a number of months later. Yes. Our swallows are about to travel over 6,000 miles. The air is cool and fresh. A gentle reminder that the seasons are changing. Summer's abundance is giving way to autumn's crispness, signaling to the swallows that their time in Ireland is coming to an end. The instinct to migrate, ingrained in their very being, This flock stands at the cusp of an annual pilgrimage. Together, they will traverse continents, flying from their breeding grounds here in Ireland to the warmer climes of South Africa. It's a journey driven by survival, a quest for consistent warmth and food as the northern world turns colder and insects, their primary food source, become scarce. But many wonder why the little swallows travel quite so far. They could easily stop at the bottom of Spain and not cross the Mediterranean. They could easily stop in northern Africa 
and not travel down a whole continent. It is, in many ways, one of the great mysteries of Earth. And sometimes, mysteries are nice to have. We don't need all the answers. The weather today is a clear herald of the coming changes. A brisk breeze rustles through the trees. The sky, a vast expanse of blue is unmarred by clouds, offering the swallows a clear path southward. It's as if nature itself has aligned to bid them farewell, ensuring their departure is marked by a day of beauty and promise. The swallows, so agile and so swift, know that the journey ahead will be fraught with challenges. Yet, there is a sense of anticipation that vibrates through the flock. Each bird, from the oldest veterans of many migrations, to the youngest, embarking on their first feels the pull of the distant lands that await them. Their communication, a series of chirps and calls, seems to echo a collective readiness, a shared resolve to embark on this great adventure. As our little swallow readies herself. She takes a moment to bask in the warmth of the sun, to fill her lungs with the crisp air and to gaze once more upon the landscape that she will not see again until spring. It's a poignant moment, one of reflection and anticipation as she prepares to leave the comfortable island of Ireland and venture far, far away. Then, as if in unison, as if some shared consciousness exists between each of these little birds. They lift into the air as a collective. The adventure has begun. The air is filled with the sound of hundreds of wings beating together. Below them, 
the landscape begins to unfold. A patchwork of fields and forests, rivers and towns, all slowly receding as the swallows rise higher. They fly out over the Irish Sea and soon they are flying over Britain. They are guided by an invisible map They fly over green countryside where the colors of autumn are just beginning to touch the leaves, turning them into a display of golds and ambers. The air up here is cooler. A contrast to the warmth of our little swallow's body as she exerts herself with each flap of her wings. As the sun begins to set, casting long shadows over the earth below, the swallows prepare for their first night. They descend to roost in a secluded grove somewhere in England, a temporary haven where they can rest and recuperate. They settle in for the night closely nestled together for warmth and safety. This first day of their journey ends with the flock intact, a community bound by instinct and the shared goal of reaching their distant home in the warmth of the southern lands. And while they sleep, let me tell you a little more about them. Swallows undertake these arduous trips twice a year from the northern hemisphere to the southern hemisphere and back again. Throughout their lifespan, which can extend up to several years, this cycle of migration is repeated annually. A swallow might embark on this journey up to a dozen times or more. Each voyage critical for their survival, allowing them to escape the colder seasons Our swallow is on her first migration. The drive behind these remarkable migrations lies really in the pursuit of optimal breeding conditions and abundant food sources 
and swallows are built for these long journeys. They are built for speed and endurance. They can travel at speeds averaging 20 to 25 miles per hour. This agility in the air is complemented by their streamlined bodies and long pointed wings designed for long distance travel. During migration, a swallow can cover approximately 200 miles or 320 kilometers a day, depending on weather conditions and the amount of wind. They do rest during their migration but not in the same way humans do. Their sleep is brief and intermittent, taking advantage of safe roosting spots during the night, or even catching moments of rest while gliding on air currents. This ability to efficiently manage their energy reserves is crucial for the completion of their long journey. Communication among the swallows is a blend of visual signals and vocal calls. Their sharp, chirping calls serve various purposes, from signaling danger to maintaining cohesion within the flock during flight. Yes, in a way, they talk to each other. Visual cues, such as changes in flight pattern or body posture, also play a significant role in their interaction. especially in the dense formations of migratory flight. This complex system of communication is vital for navigating and coordinating their group movements across vast distances, ensuring their collective success on the journey. The next day, the swallows find themselves at yet another coast, the English Channel. The sunlight sparkles off the water, a vast, moving surface that mirrors the sky above. Here, our swallow 
and her flock. Encounter gusts of wind that challenge their formation. But they navigate these with skill, adjusting and realigning, always maintaining their direction. The swallows fly over vast ships traveling through the sea. Planes fly high above them. They see the human world, but they are happy in their one. By the third day, the swallows find themselves over the heart of France. They fly over vineyards, farmlands and forests, all now changing colors with the season. The flock, now well into their journey, has settled into a rhythm. Each individual bird, including our swallow, an integral part of the whole. There is much beauty below them. But these swallows remain focused, driven by the imperative to press on. They feed on the wing, catching insects in midair. A display of their agility and precision that fuels their long flight. On the fourth day, the terrain begins to shift as they approach the Pyrenees. The mountains rise from the earth ahead of them. It is a barrier that requires a significant ascent. But the swallows rise to the challenge, climbing higher into the sky, their bodies silhouetted against the mountain peaks. On the fifth day, as the swallows navigate the diverse landscapes of Spain, their resilience shines. The warmth of the Spanish sun bathes their wings and provides a much needed boost to their spirits. This leg of the journey offers a mix of challenges and reprieves, with the birds expertly utilizing thermal uplifts to conserve energy. The terrain below offers a variety of landscapes, from dry plains that stretch towards the horizon, 
to verdant valleys that promise abundant insect life for feeding. As they press forward, the communal bond within the flock becomes even more pronounced. Their communication keeps the flock cohesive and alert to both opportunities and dangers. Their path takes them across vast stretches of land alongside rivers teeming with life and past ancient towns whose inhabitants are unaware of the great journey happening above them. The swallows for their part, are singularly focused on the journey, yet the world they traverse is so rich with history and natural beauty. Physically, the demands of the migration begin to manifest. The constant need for vigilance and the exertion of long flights test their endurance. Yet, the swallows are adept at finding moments of rest, seizing every opportunity to replenish their energy. Nightly roosts in sheltered trees or reed beds offer brief respite a chance to sleep and recover before the next day's journey. Emotionally, our little swallow experiences a blend of anticipation and determination the knowledge that each beat of her wings brings her closer to her destination, fuels her resolve, and then her first sight of the Mediterranean Sea serves as a powerful motivator. As our little swallow advances, the landscape beneath her begins a dramatic transformation. Now the Mediterranean Sea lies beneath her, and her and her flock fly over it with determined grace. The blue of the water, 
a calm and beautiful sight. The coastline of North Africa now is in view. Here is the continent where they will find rest. Here they are greeted by such a diverse landscape. From the lush green strips along the Nile River, where the ancient Egyptians once flourished, to the vast Sahara Desert, it sands a sea of gold under the blazing sun. They pass over the Atlas Mountains that stretch across Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia. Their peak reach high in the sky, some capped with snow, others bare and rugged. The swallows navigate this varied topography with ease. Their journey, an aerial dance that brings them through valleys and over peaks. They glide over the great city of Marrakesh with its vibrant markets and historic medinas. From above, the city is a labyrinth of red and orange, a patchwork of life and activity that has stood here for millennia. As they continue their journey, the swallows pass over the expanse of Sahara, this desert is a place of stark beauty and extreme conditions, and it challenges the swallows with its vast, uninhabited spaces and the shimmering heat that rises from the sand. Yet, even here, in the midst of the desert's silence, the swallows find a way. After traversing the vast and varied landscapes of North Africa, the swallows continue their journey southward The flock and our little swallow are now seasoned travelers, 
they have become adept at reading the signs of the sky and the earth. Crossing the equator, a significant milestone in their journey, the swallows encounter a world where the seasons are reversed. The air gradually warms. They fly over the equatorial rainforests, a canopy of green so vast and dense it seems like a world unto itself. The air here is humid and filled with the calls of exotic birds. Our little swallow has never seen such birds and finds this world altogether fascinating. As they move beyond the dense greenery of the Congo Basin, the swallows begin to see the landscape morph once again. the savannas of East Africa stretch out below them. Vast plains dotted with acacia trees and teeming with wildlife. The sight of herds of wildebeest, elephants and zebras moving across the land is a reminder of other grand migrations that occur on the earth. Eventually, the swallows reach the southern tip of the continent, the first sight of South Africa brings a surge of energy to the flock. They know where they are going as they fly over the Limpopo River. Its waters a lifeline in the dry landscape, marking the final leg of their journey. The landscapes of South Africa are diverse, from the rolling hills and vineyards of the Western Cape to the rugged coastline formed by the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. It's here, in these rich and varied environments, that the swallows will find their winter home. Here, our little swallow that we have followed 
for all this time is met with a world that is alive with the promise of the southern hemisphere's spring. The air is filled with floral scents and the land is awakening to the new season. Our swallow feels a sense of renewal. Her long journey, her first migration, culminating in this moment of arrival. She swoops and dives over the landscapes that will be her home for the next few months. Her flight, a celebration of the journey's end and the beginning of her stay in the southern lands. Here, along with her flock, she will rest, feed and thrive, basking in the warmth and abundance of South Africa. before the cycle calls her northward once again. As the sun dips below the horizon, at the end of their first South African day, a calm settles over the swallows. The exhilaration of their arrival gives way to a peaceful anticipation of the night's rest. The sounds of the day fade replaced by the gentle lullabies of the night. The distant calls of nocturnal creatures. The soft rustle of leaves in the breeze. and the quiet lapping of water at the shore. One by one, the swallows fall into a restful state, their bodies relaxed. And their breathing slow and steady. In this moment, there is no need to fly, no need to navigate the vast skies. They have nothing to do. Nowhere to go. There is only the gentle embrace of sleep. A well-deserved rest that envelops each bird. Here, in the heart of South Africa, they have found a refuge, 
a home. And now they sleep. The shared relief of their safe arrival. Cradling them into a peaceful slumber. <laughs> 